Watch what's approaching, the supreme moment. Reality striking, closer than it seems, don't it? Go ahead, it's for the taking if you want it. If not, the dream dies and you'll be forever haunted. Then confront it. Hey, what's good? Just got out of a work meeting and uh, just finally came through in terms of covering some of the news. So, of course, this is potentially the last uh, celebration or campaign period before the 350 million download celebration uh, coming up end of next month. I say potentially, but it's it's pretty much guaranteed that that'll happen because uh, over the course of the last three years, that's been pretty much the case. So. Uh, with that being said, they definitely did throw a little bit of a monkey in the wrench for those that were planning on saving uh, your stones up until that point because of how good the new Dokkan Fest uh, tech Ultimate Gohan is, and, and we'll cover that you know in a second, but it's, it's quite ridiculous how good the unit is, so uh, there's certainly a little bit of a resistance in terms of you know really saving your stones, but uh, I mean, I guess at the end of the day, any stone spent up until a, a certain point, uh, probably mid next month, uh, you will be able to get tickets out of that. So I, I guess it's okay in that regard. But let's just take a look at the schedule itself. So this is the uh, Dokkan Summer Campaign, and it looks like the uh, schedule itself, you know, we've got stuff like the new uh, Super Battle Royale stages, Extremes the Area, uh, new. Um, uh, you know world tournament coming up and stuff like that so along with that we do have like the weekend ticket banner as well as the, the rising dragon or double race banner coming up so let's just go ahead and talk about the schedule itself and it looks like it is lasting till you know august 21st and right after that period most likely we will be getting the 350 million download celebration on both versions by the way it'll be both jp and global for those that are new it's celebrated between both uh, global and jp at the same time all right, so it does start on the 31st on Friday. So this is JP time. So obviously probably with the uh, reset coming up, it'll be uh, starting very, very soon. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So uh, we've got the, you know, the logins, missions, of course, the Dokkan Fest. Uh, again, the um, you know Ultimate Gohan is, is very, very good, but you also do have the Supreme, Supreme Kai, and I think it was a duo card with Kibito. So. Um, let's go ahead and, and move on. Uh, looks like the Savior is the new category, obviously, for Ultimate Gohan, but uh, there is the uh, discount banner for that. Again, this is the uh, Rise and Dragon uh, Carnival banner, and again, the double rates pretty much. Um, I honestly feel like this is as obvious as it can get, as in, you know, in terms of a trap banner, especially with the million download celebration coming up. But you know, it does give you an improved chance of potentially pulling an LR. So if that's something you really do want to pursue after and, and you know, get tickets out of it, I guess you're okay in that regard. Uh, there's probably going to be a cutoff time at some point. So just be aware uh, it is during the time of uh, August 13th through the uh, 28th. So I would definitely keep my eyes open on, you know, how, uh, what's the cutoff date for the uh, tickets conversions, I guess, based on the stones use. So uh, definitely, t you know, stay in tune on, on the news about that. Elder Kai Banner doesn't really matter much. Uh, you know, Dragonstone Stone sales obviously will take place. The new Dokkan event is coming out for the Ultimate Gohan unit. Uh, looks like uh, we talked about this yesterday, but the uh, renewal for the uh, Hero of Justice store event. So it's going to be a lot easier to farm uh, the medals and units or whatever. And there is going to be, or there is, you know, a brand new uh, SSR unit, which is the. Um, you know, great Saiyaman 2 slash 1 uh, should be an exchange unit. And uh, I haven't tested it myself personally yet, but it uh, should be a pretty decent support for the uh, signature pose category. Uh, we do have like the Boo Saga related, you know, story events coming out uh, or, or, you know, coming back around. And of course, this is a good stage to level up the uh, uh, link skills. So definitely, you know, interchange between this stage three and also uh, quest 23 eight. That's pretty much what I've been using so far. And it works out pretty well in terms of leveling up the, uh, the link skills themselves. All right, a couple of different things right here. Um, obviously, this has been out already, but uh, I guess it's, it's, you know, coming back around. Uh, virtual uh, Dokkan Battlefield, so starts on August 3rd up until the 28th, so again, the, f uh, the 29th season, which is, you know, the full month, so it's, uh, it's certainly a good way to get more stones. Um, at the end of the day, stones, potential orbs, uh, items, you know, it's, it's a good way to acquire those, so it's, it's definitely a good opportunity prepping for the uh, million download ce celebration coming up end of next month. 
And of course the uh, Extreme Z Awakening for Super 17, this guy's quite good. Uh, very good damage mitigator, but can produce a uh, pretty hefty uh, amount of damage in, in terms of like attack stats. So very, very solid unit. And uh, I think it's certainly worthwhile to go through that if you have a copy of that unit at the very least. Uh, we do have the Buhan Extreme Z Battle coming back again. And then uh, the you know Extreme Dilkon Fest banner. If you, if you do need the Super 17, you do have the option to summon on this banner if you choose to do so. Okay, so... Moving on, let's go ahead and talk about some of the other stuff here, shall we? So it looks like the Dokkan event uh, will be available every day, obviously, because of the, you know, the uh, Extreme Z Awakening. And looks like, oh, by the way, the, uh, the category advantage for the Extreme Z battle on Super 17 should be the Dragon Ball Seekers, by the way. All right, so let's move on. Uh, we got a couple of story events returning as well as Dokkan events. Not really so much relevant, but, you know, certainly worth a lot to talk about in terms of, you know, stuff you could, you know, potentially farm and stuff like that. All right, so we have a return of the Extreme Z area, the Android Cell Saga portion for the uh, exchange units. Both of them are very, very solid. I personally probably use the Goku Gohan unit more so than the Vegeta Trunks, but they're, you know, they're both very solid units. Uh, again, we have the weekend ticket banners coming out, so that'll be from August 8th through the uh, 23rd, and uh, continued uh, weekend login. What is this weekend? Weekend Gasha Denzoguro Green bonus. So it's just uh, consecutive login bonuses for the uh, weekend tickets. So I guess you can get tickets out of that from during that period. Uh, you do have uh, missions related to that as well, based on you know uh, Saturday and Sunday schedules of getting uh, more tickets as well. And this one's always a nice one. The three-day weekend missions. It's a good way to get more stones. I mean, you can get 21 total dragon stones over the course of three days, and you know it's it's. You know, it could make it or break it in terms of having enough stones for a multi. So, you know, 21 stones is certainly not a bad, bad thing at all. Uh, Bulma Battle Prep, of course, is in preparation for the 36th Tenkaichi Budokai or World Tournament. And it uh, looks like the long-haired Trunks is finally uh, getting an SSR form. So I know Social Fire is quite happy about that. So shout out to her for that one. All right, uh, looks like, I don't, you know, these things come back around every time the uh, World Tournament is around just because I'm, I, I'm pretty sure the medals uh, for Awakening do require uh, some of the stuff from the World Tournament uh, grind itself. And we do have the new stages for the uh, category uh, Super Battle Road uh, settings. Uh, looks like that is going to be coming out on August 11th, and it'll be going through until, uh, uh, what is that, uh, October 5th. Um, this looks like it's going to be available every day. So Super Battle Road will actually be available every day for about, you know, close to three months or two months. That's actually pretty solid. That's a good way to, you know, work toward clearing the stages if you've, you know, struggled to do so. And I think it's a good way to, to definitely make that happen. So uh, for looks like, you know, based on what I'm reading, Mainichi Kaiho means uh, unlocked every day. So it looks like, you know, it'll be available every day for close to two months, which is certainly a good thing. A uh, new stage for the Extreme Z area. This is like the Hero Extermination Plan or whatever the, the right uh, title is for that. So uh, I'm not exactly sure who the units will be that awaken, but uh, there will be a new stage for that coming out. So a lot of good activity leading into the million download celebration. I think it's a, a worthwhile enough campaign celebration period. You know, it's, it's not in anything crazy by any means, but it's not necessarily that dry either. So I think it's uh, pretty solid. Let's go ahead and talk about the missions while we're at it, and I will go ahead and provide the uh, translations right now. Alright, so in terms of the missions themselves, I think... So it's going on, again, the similar schedule up, you know, starting from the 31st to the 21st. Uh, I don't know if it's split into, you know, a series of parts, but... Uh, you know, daily missions, you can get up to 16 Dragonstones, and then with the limited missions, you can get 33, so what's that, you know, close to uh, 49 total uh, dragon stones like 50 let's just say 50 dragon stones so enough for a multi i think that's more than enough at the, at this point you know for a kind of a, a, a i wouldn't say burner but like in between campaign uh so to speak leading into the big one coming up so uh daily mission it looks like you just have to clear it twice uh it's monday through friday so that will be one dragon stone out of that uh it looks like you know you have to clear based on a certain category for that one for the limited mission um 
go through the uh, growth event once, three times, five times, and you'll get the following items for that one. Uh, looks like story event one time, five times, ten times, and you'll get the following items. I'm not going to break down exactly what the items are. You can kind of tell just by looking at it, but uh, Extreme Z Battle, clear it one time, three times, five times, seven times, and ten times. You'll get you know the potential orbs, Sleeping Kai's, and, and some Dragon Stones as well as an Elder Kai. Uh, clear out the Dokkan event once, three times, five times, seven times, and ten times. You'll get more Dragon Stones as well. Uh, clear three times with no damage. Uh, looks like these are clear with uh, only super attacks for five times. Uh, clear under two minutes uh, for five times. Uh, consume 300 ACT, 500 ACT, 700 ACT, and then finally uh, clearing all the Dokkan Summer missions, you will get the um, uh, Dragon Stones out of that. So again, not bad. I mean, considering it's an in-between campaign celebration leading into the, the big one coming up, uh, this is certainly not a bad one at all. So, you know, with that being said, we've got uh, decent enough activity for the next month to just kind of kill time and uh, leading into the hype of the, uh, the new celebration. So with that being said, uh, we'll go ahead and wrap things up, but hopefully you guys enjoy the video. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys later.